take a moment and talk about unit price. Um, so all of us have faced this. This is chocolate canned frosting from Fred Meyers. And we've got Duncan Hines and Betty Crocker. And on this face of it, it seems like Duncan Hines is cheaper. But if you look at them, they're not the same size container. So to figure out which one's cheaper, to figure out how much you're paying per ounce to actually be able to compare them, you have to find the unit cost. So in this case, what we want to know is we want to know the cost per unit. And in this case, it will be dollars. It'll end up being cents, but per ounce. Um, and it's whatever it is, but you want to, and obviously if these weren't both ounces, you'd want to convert them to ounces so it's more comparable. So to find out the Duncan Hines up here, I'm going to do 299 divided by 14. And I had a calculator on here somewhere. Okay, 299 divided by 14. And I can see this is like 21 cents an ounce. Okay. If it'll let me type. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing, only now I'm going to do 329 divided by 16 ounces because this is a bigger can. And I can see I get 21.05. Kind of rounds up. It's pretty darn close. But still, technically, a little bit cheaper is the Betty Crocker, even though on the face of it, it seemed more expensive. But when I actually compared how much I was getting for it, Betty Crocker is the better deal. I'm going to be honest, when I was looking at this, Duncan Hines is currently on sale, so it would have been the better deal. But I was going for the, the, the point here. So hopefully this helps you. It's important to, to think about that unit price, how much it's going to cost per item, um, in this case per ounce. But whatever you're looking for, often you'll want to do it so that you can compare them and equalize it.